the VO Meter, measuring your voiceover progress. Whether you're a veteran voice actor, just starting out, or don't even know how to set a level, we're here to help you avoid the pitfalls along your voiceover path to success. The VO Meter is brought to you by Voice Actor Websites, Vocal Booth To Go, Global Voice Acting Academy, JMC Demos, and Sennheiser. The VO Meter is produced in part using Source Connect, made by source-elements.com. And now, your hosts, Paul Stefano and Sean Daly. So you mentioned how you love doing video game work. Tell us how you go about finding that work. Is it primarily from your agents or your own marketing? When I decided that I wanted to work in video game and animation, everyone was telling me I would have to move to L.A. and I probably would not find much work in those genres. Even if I got agents, I did sign with a couple of agents that are absolutely amazing. And to this day, I'm I'm so grateful for them and we have great relationships. I've gotten a few video game uh, auditions through them as well as Talking Toys. And they have been wonderful. I'd say 90% of the work that I get, I book on my own. It's from marketing. Social media is really important, I think, for especially the gaming and animation industry, and not just voice actors, for everyone who works on that stuff, uh, the developers, the artists, the sound engineers. So LinkedIn, obviously, is the best. Twitter, even Facebook groups. I would say most of the games that I've booked have been accidental through sharing something and the right person hearing it at the right time. And social media is kind of all about that. People getting a hold of things and seeing things and hearing things and sharing things. There are, there's also a site that I use called Game Dev Map. It's, you, it's like a big map of the world and you click on whatever state you want to work on for that day. It comes up, it shows all the game studios in that area and you just kind of go down the list, uh, send them a friendly email. I never send emails immediately saying, hey, I love the work you do. By the way, uh, here's my demo. <laughs> it's just... Especially, I think, with younger people, which get, a lot of game developers are younger people now, they're very turned off by uh, anything remotely sounding like you're trying to sell something to, to them. And I, that's evident in commercials today, too. Everything's conversational and relaxed. Uh, the big selly commercials, I think, they don't really market to younger people. So with the game dev people, I just keep in touch with them. I tell them I enjoy what they're doing. Uh, a lot of times I've played their games, so I say, oh, I love this about this game. And I keep in touch with them, build relationships. LinkedIn is great for that because they can see what you do without you having to push it in their face. Uh, that's how I've booked a lot of work. My email, even though I don't say, hey, I'm a voice actress, by the way, here's my demo. My signature is my name and what I do. And then a link to my website is underneath. So if they're interested, if they see that, if that is something that catches their eye, because maybe they're looking for a voice actor, they'll click on it. If not, they just, maybe they'll bookmark it for later or they don't really say anything about it. And that's fine too. It's just nice to keep in touch with them and compliment them. <laughs> there the are also- The great, by the way. Uh, I should mention it's done by voice actor websites who just happen to be a sponsor of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Shame They're <up>. awesome. <laughs> uh, they I want to follow up quickly. Too. Yeah, I, I, I realize that. Um, <laughs> I want to follow up quickly on finding your own work. Seeing how I know exactly where you live, not that I'm stalking you, but I've driven through your town several times. <laughs> Do you have any trouble finding work in the genres you like to work in from your little nook of New Jersey? Um, I do think my zip code definitely limits me a little bit, just as it would limit everyone. If I'm in New York or L.A., I would definitely be taking advantage of my zip code. But it hasn't been to the point where I feel like I need to move to L.A. next year. Uh, Texas, like I said, is definitely a consideration. The cost of living is amazing, and the opportunities like the anime studios and video game studios there are really awesome. I'm obviously, if I'm here in New Jersey, I'm not going to have the best luck booking with Nintendo unless I go through a third party or an agent. That's something that would probably you would probably be need to you would probably need to be in LA or New York to do. But there are hundreds and thousands of people opening up independent game studios. Uh, some of them leave the bigger companies because they see what it's like to be in charge of that game and to bring that to life. And they want to do that. So they leave and they open up their own game studio. And 
most of them are really successful. Uh, everyone nowadays plays video games. All the people who were the youngest when video games were first becoming popular, they're all growing up, but they're growing up with the games. They're not going to stop playing them. I think as time goes on, I mean, I'm in my early 20s. I'm completely sure that when I'm in my 40s or 50s, I'm still going to be playing video games. Uh, I don't see why not, as long as it's done in a healthy way. <laughs> uh, I still play. I'm in my 40s, almost 50. Yeah, that I think that's awesome. But yeah, I don't think that it's impossible to wherever you are it's not impossible to do it it's it requires a little more legwork i think <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's so encouraging to hear that because i know a lot of people kind of well i mean first off so many marketing nuggets there i mean a lot of people kind of approach it from a sense of desperation and be like please hire me and we can talk more yeah. about that in a minute but yeah i just love how creatively you think outside the box and just be like don't really feel limited by your location Thanks for listening to this episode of the VO Meter. To follow along, visit us at www.vometer.com. We'd also love to hear your comments or suggestions for the show. Or if you have a questionable gear purchase, tell us all about it on our Facebook page or on Twitter at the VO Meter.